once in a generation, an athlete of unparalleled talent can change a sport. Julia Mancuso has done just that, winning four Olympic medals, the most of any American woman in ski racing history. It's the end of September in Sasve, Switzerland, where Julia and the U.S. women's Alpine speed team are deep into dry land training. Although summer-like at the mountain's 5,900-foot base elevation, another 6,000 feet above town, the glacier is open for skiing. It's very impressive to come over here to the glaciers. We normally come in October when it's starting to be winter again, but this feels kind of like the end of summer and it's still really nice in the village and we get to get up there and get a lot of good runs in and we've had a lot of great turns so far. It's a really interesting dynamic being in an individual sport, but we travel together as a team. We spend more time with each other than we do with our families or significant others. So we really rely on each other for support and for fun on the road. I mean, we're out here months and months at a time and we get to spend a lot of time in the hotels. <laughs> As dawn breaks on the mountain summit, the team continues its preparation for the upcoming World Cup season. To make their championship dreams a reality, a racer must have the support of teammates, coaches, and ski technicians. You can't do it alone. It's such a difficult sport, especially when it comes to downhill. We have downhills that are a couple miles long, really, and you have to have support staff on the hill to make sure that it's safe. And being able to train with a team and push each other, it just makes us all better. When someone's skiing faster, you know, you want to train faster and you want to be fast just like them. So we're constantly just raising the bar and pushing each other to go faster. There's a lot of video analysis. We watch our video and we kind of learn different things. We train different distances between the gates. So when it comes to race, you can look at the course and be like, oh, this is like that one day we trained. The gates were set this many meters apart and this is how I need to ski it. How is someone coming down the course? Yeah, we'd like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, ooh, what's happening here? <laughs> Julia is one of just a handful of skiers that competes in all five disciplines. She first joined the U.S. ski team in 1999 at just 15 years of age. After a slow start to her World Cup career, Mancuso made a huge leap in 2005, winning two bronze medals at the World Championships. In 2007, Julia added silver at the Worlds to her collection. My most memorable race of Finding the perfect line was winning the gold medal in Trino in giant slalom. Winning the first run was the first time I ever won a run in World Cup, and I knew I still had to push it second run. I looked at the girls behind me, and they were right on my heels. That was the one moment where I really had to trust and believe. She has so much natural talent, and athletic ability. I think she could be successful in whatever she wanted to be successful in, but she just happened to choose skiing, and it's really awesome to have somebody that naturally talented out there. She comes from a, a season where she won again a, a medal at the Olympics, so she is for sure a big event athlete. She worked really hard this spring and this summer, and she has some good uh, basement now to build up a good season. My goals this season are to definitely get back to where I was the seasons before last. I really want to see all of my disciplines back in the top 10. Being in there for a podium every time I leave the start gate and for sure fighting for a globe and super G again. Yeah.